message is clear. Stay off the roads if you possibly can once again today. That's right. The DOT has worked around the clock to clear those roads for days now, but with the bitter temperatures, drivers could still run into a lot of problems out there. CBS North Carolina's Lauren Havlin's riding around in our mobile news tracker. And Lauren, tell us what you're seeing. Well, we're in Durham right now, and we've come across a lot of different situations from roads that look completely clear to what you're seeing now. We're just off Miami Boulevard in Durham, and this road right here is covered. It is covered in snow and ice. We are having a little bit of problems ourselves right now, just trying to get some traction to go ahead and move along. I would highly suggest not to go the posted speed limit because we are sliding around ourselves again crews hoping to get out later this morning to do what they can but it is not a good situation for many of the local roads once you get to the interstates you don't have any problems but it's just getting to the interstates is where you're really going to have your issues in a news briefing sunday afternoon governor roy cooper warned there will be black ice on the roads today even in some places that have already been cleared Crews in Wake County have been working overnight and will continue into the early morning hours to make sure any icy areas are covered with salt and sand. Crews say the chemicals they use, though, don't work below 20 degrees. They were pretty much just putting salt sand on um, because there, there's no way to get it off the road when temperatures are that cold. They're on in the morning. Hopefully, if everything is passable, um, we'll try to get out. And basically, only go out if you have to. Again, you are taking a live look of Ellis Road right now. We are in Durham. You can tell just looking at it from our camera on top of the mobile, mobile news tracker, it is icy and snowy. And even if it just looks snowy or it may be clear, you need to be aware of black ice. Um, so far, state troopers have told us they have received more than 3,100 calls for service. They have responded to all those. And that's all across the state, but they do expect expect that number to rise today. Live in the mobile news tracker in Durham, I'm Lauren Havlin, CBS North Carolina.